And, and frankly, I, I don't know all of them, so yeah. I'd, I'd be talking out of ignorance. Um, but it should be a really exciting summer, and, and the World Series of Poker. Uh, we'll, Are you going we'll right be in the streams. beginning? Like, I will be in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to play in the uh, employees event? event? Yeah. I may. I don't. I don't know if I. Have I don't know if I can. Just from a time standpoint? Because I think that's on May 31st, which is like Yeah, I don't know if I can. If I can, I probably will. Brian, are you going to play in the employees event? Oh, both big timers. They don't, I don't have time. It's not, no, it's not about big. Time. I still have time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My wife is eight, <laughs> and, a half, my wife is eight and a half months pregnant. I, you're right. Ryan's wife's pregnant, too. Actually, and at that point, by the way, my wife will be nine and a half months pregnant. Okay? My wife will literally be like 38 and a half weeks pregnant. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and I'm be like, hey, listen, not only not only am I working in Vegas covering the World Series, but I'm going to go a couple of days early and play in an employee's event. $500 employee's event? <laughs> Peter's got pocket aces here. He's going to raise it up to 105 out of the small blind. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Peter's been fairly active. He hasn't raised much. James going to call with 10 3 of clubs. Limp under the gun oh, and a call. And oh, oh, boy. And this is kind of what I talked about. Oh, now, boy. 10 7 is a, 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 a combination that could be two pair. Like yeah. Somebody could very easily have 10 7 of hearts, 10 7 of diamonds, or 10 7 of clubs. Yeah. But with James, you also have to give him 7 3 and 10 3. Yep. 10 3 and 7 3 suited. And wow, and Peter checked. And oh. Israeli Ron bets his gutter. Wow. Now Israeli Ron bets the gutter with back. Is that hearts. gonna somehow save Peter here? I don't Did know. Did James just call or he raised? Oh, but he min raised though. No way Peter can just fold to a bet in a min raise. This is why I don't like to really play over pairs in this way. You're not really betting for information and no limit. You're betting for value. But when you play a hand in a non-standard way, it actually sometimes becomes harder. Yeah, you end up leveling yourself in yeah, a situation. Yeah, because I've underrepped my hand. We've seen Phil Helmuth do that, where he traps so much, he ends up holding. He check-raised all in. Well, he's not that deep. And I think maybe that's why he played it that way. Well, there's no way James can fold, right? No, I mean, no, no, he, no. This is a snap call. Yeah, He's I blocking mean, pocket tens. Small blind raised out of the. Sm I mean, he raised out of the small blind. This is a snap. This is with that sizing. This is just like, like, thank you. Yeah. You want an homage? Love it. You have I mean, to call. And by the way, I don't. I don't hate because of Peter's stack. I don't know. Oh, he's actually a little bit. I thought he was two thousand dollars. He's a little bit deep for this. I thought he had two thousand dollars. If he had two thousand, I kind of like playing it this way. Twenty nine seventy. Twenty nine seventy. So he raised to one oh five. In three hundred dollar pot on the flop, he checked the flop. Ron bet two twenty five. James raised to four fifty and then he just checked jammed. I don't know what James is waiting for here. Yeah, this, this is a snap call. Now Peter does not have the ace of spades in his hands, so maybe he thinks, you know, James could have some could flush draws in his range. But when James raises here, he's gonna have I don't know what James is doing. This is a nit roll. <laughs> and James is actually a three to one favorite. It's interesting because it's an over pair against two pair, right? Yeah, obviously Peter can catch uh, a seven. Peter can catch an ace, and then yeah. whatever the turn card is, yeah. if it's not a ten or a three, he can catch that one as well. Um, I just don't. I mean, this 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 is almost looks like ace king of spades here. I I, I guess. Oh yeah, I would, ace queen of spades. Ace king of spades. This is what I'm saying. Like, I don't even think Peter raises pocket sevens from the small blind. He's gonna limp along. You block pocket tens. Like, this is an over pair that's played wildly, which it is. Or Ace King, Ace Queen of Spades all day long. I mean, I know we can see the cards, and I'm no, trying dude, to, but dude, this dude, is dude, this is an easy. This yeah. is this is a fist pump getting it in. Yeah. This is this is. I just got a boner. I've got an erection. And this is going to be one of these situations where I am assuming when he does call, I don't know if James. Is, I mean, I don't know if Peter's going to get upset because James is nit rolling him. But I've had this kind of argument on my CLP site too, where it's like. He's not intentionally slow rolling. I think he's just thinking through it. But but why wouldn't you want to have a guy that's thinking through the situation as opposed to a snap call? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. If he ever has a chance that he's gonna fold. <laughs> I mean, it's annoying, obviously, because you're yeah. gonna, if you end up losing to 10-3. Yeah. It's like first of all. So twice, guys. Like, God, like seriously, dude, you got 10-3. Yeah. And then second of all, why did you take so? Like right now, Peter has to love his hand. Oh, and he's drawing a two outs now. Ace. Needs an yeah. ace and only an ace. That's not an ace. They gonna run it twice? Yeah, they ran it twice. We're going to run it twice. See if you can catch the next one. A deuce, a three, or an ace now on the river. I'm sorry, a deuce, a seven. Well, it doesn't matter. It's four a four. Nope. And second one. Two pair. Everybody want to run Andy? We're also interested. 
I'll take this. Well, everyone's taking a shot, so I'll take two shots for everyone. For every one at the table, for every one, two and a half for yeah. every person. No, no, no. Like for every one, two fifty. Uh, can you drink, Lior? Lior? No, I don't drink that much. Lior's oh, blood no, is like half alcohol. Of course, I'll take a shot. Yeah. I want everybody to do shots. Especially Andy. We're playing after the after the show. Well, once you start drinking, you have to continue, otherwise, body rejects it. Three players. James raises it up with jacks, gets two callers, and a great flop. Wow, look at this cooler flop! Wow, Lior with a straight flush draw, and James with middle set. Bet five hundred. Does Lear just call here? Does he raise and get huh? it in? Fuck yeah, it is. This is a job. big flop for these two hands. Lear has a straight flush so draw. Guys. James is middle set. Means I'm also just raise, 1,500. And Lear raises it up. James bets 500 in a 1,275, or in a 775, rather. And Lear raises it to 1,500. And uh, I don't see anything else but James shoving here. Stacks are not deep. They're about 5K effective here. James started the flop with 5,400. Lear started the flop with 5,500. And James shoves with middle set, and Lear is going to snap call. Two times? They're going to yeah. run it twice, and James is going to try to hold. He makes a boat on the first board, and Lior wastes one of his flushes, and he, he makes a boat on the second board as well. So Lior hits the flush on both boards, but neither one is good because James makes a boat on the turn on both. Wow. So Lior's flush is no good on either board, and James is going to scoop this pot for over $11,000. Nice. Lead done by James. Why don't you leave the horses alone? Yes, three fifty. And James turns the nuts. And Dan's going to call River Deuce. Dan checks. 
And let's see if he can get away from this one. What do you think in the chat? Is Dan going to be able to fold this one? 4,000 he bets in a 5,300. Oh, he snap calls. I didn't even give you guys a chance to react. Thirty four hundred. Thirty four hundred he bets into fifty three, two thirds pot. And Dan quickly calls and pays off James. Nice hand by James. He is now winning on the day. Courtney to one fifty here under the gun. We're gonna get Phil Helmuth on the show. I think we will. We'll get Phil on the show. Has he played on the show before? In no, the I don't history? think. I don't think he has. I mean, we've had we've had some of the biggest names in poker here, but never Phil. Okay. We'll get we'll get Phil on. I mean, you and I from a couple of the poker night in America uh, stops. You and I have become friendly with with Phil, and I, I did that show with him and. Uh, Maria Ho and stuff, and he's a good guy. Like, I mean, well, I don't know if he's a good guy, but look he's at an interesting guy. <laughs> to, oh, I thought Cantu was going to squeeze for sure because I was going to say James just flat over called with Ace King, right? And I thought Cantu was going to squeeze there with Ace Jack of Diamonds. Frankly, I think it's a pretty clever uh, flat by James because of that. I think if you think that maybe Brandon Cantu is ready to explode, maybe it's not a terrible move to kind of like flat some raises in position and let him three bet from behind. Oh, oh boy, Ron's got Queen Deuce. Back -back flusher, oh, I thought he was going to take a stab at it. <laughs> it pains him to like right. not. James bets 200 here with Ace King, and I think Brandon's going to continue here. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Brandon's not going anywhere. And that's going to kill the action. Uh, no See, fun. Brandon turns 10 to a bluff now. Yeah, pretty bad run out for action, if you like action. Wow, and James bets 200 here on the turn. Again, a bet I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know if he knows. He can't do calls. It's a value bet. What do you mean? He just got value from worse. He's a genius. He's playing on a level far beyond you or me. Could one, ever play. One liner to a five. Check, check, and Ace King's going to take it down. Purple's poker says, WTF is going on. Buddy, <laughs> we're here watching the same game you are. <laughs> Miro's 27 says, uh, Royal, please. They really want to see a Royal here in the chat. Be Kim, man. He always seems to be making the right decisions. Shout out to Shermisher, what up? Meatloaf, what's up? Sublime 10. I hope you guys are having fun. I'm having a great time today. That's the thing with uh, Andy, you know, as I was saying before, his, you know, his strategy is a little different than other people because he he's looking to play deep and play big pots. So he's probably more prone to not taking marginal spots. Obviously, I think that spot's not even that marginal, but um, you can kind of get an idea about his strategy and what he's thinking about. He's thinking... You know, this isn't really the spot I'm looking for. I'm looking for a spot where I know I'm going to be playing a big, big pot with the best hand against, you know, another good player with a deep stack. So he avoids marginal Seven. spots, medium strength hands, if he Five. thinks it's going to be big, big, uh, big pots. Um, not saying that that's correct, but oh, I sure. think that's kind of what he's thinking. So we have a race from David preflop. Flop goes bet James, oh, yeah. called by that's David. Why I was late. I was Turn, bet James again. James just has a pair of fours. David stop, has stop top pair and is just going to let him fire away. Yeah. So here we see. And James you know, gets James. there with the four. I was going to say this rumor yeah. probably goes check, check a lot if, if, they, if they brick out. That's the thing with James. Is he'll just kind of keep donking into you, leading into you, and you're just kind of like it's a little bit of um, a guessing game because you're trying to figure out what he's leading with on that board, you know. Um, especially when he'll do it with a four or a deuce, you know. 
<laughs> Look at the frustration on David. Yeah, he's he's like he doesn't know what to think. He's like, would you lead into me with a four this whole time? Or a ten? He's thinking I have a ten. So you know what I mean? Yeah. So what are you betting oh. three streets with? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's nice hand. I don't think that's what really went on in his mind. Was <laughs> nice <laughs> hand, but <laughs> it's more, it <laughs> more like <laughs> f you <laughs> and your six four. <laughs> to the flop set of twos for James wow a bet and a raise in front of you and you have bottom set Bet raised and called. You don't feel too good about your nine in your hand if you're Chris. <laughs> Ten seconds. Bet twenty two hundred. Chris is gonna bet just in case James has some flush draws. And James already has a check marking. <laughs> Puts in another smooth call. Oh. <coughs> River is a jack. And it goes check, check, and James is going to win a pot of $8,000. Well done by James. And shout out to John, dot, dot, dot. He's just donated nine ninety nine in the super chat. Thank you very much, John. Hope you have a great night and you're enjoying High Stakes Friday here on Live at the Bike. I'd say no to.
as a coach and asking for more than two potentially. Yeah. And like I was just wondering. Eight. Eight. Nah, I would, like, uh, that's why I'd be like, let's just go once or twice. I, I feel like whenever I'm in multi way all ins, often they happen often. Yeah. And someone asks you twice, I'm always like, they are a. Anytime it's going to lead to something that's not. Like, Andrea plays a couple times with Kitty. Oh, yeah, so, so far away. <laughs> 325. Yeah, he was in the best incredible. position to take advantage of it. You see Kevin, that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, Kevin. <laughs> 325. How mean. Yeah. Yeah. I, played, I played with Kim last night. I played, played with Kim a couple times. But uh, I don't know if we played that before. Does. Maybe it's like... I sat next to you in a tournament, uh, well, next table over from you in a tournament, like, last summer, but I don't think we played. Oh, one of the Yeah. Three fifty. I was like, holy shit, it's Andy. We should see a big hat. <laughs> Kevin went top, top, and seat. Eight seat, James. Raise it. This is a straight flush draw. And it's gonna get raised in a call. Might be the only poker player who has never been to Vegas. Huh? Really? I've never been. Never been to Vegas? I've never been to Vegas. Yeah. I've been, been in the US like four times, never went to Vegas. Don't do it. Don't? Don't go. And James is going to bet pretty hard here. Yeah, I heard a lot of people are talking about how good Vegas actually is, but I, I He's repping all the hands that he could have flopped like something like queen there, nine, like two pair sets. As good as people say. Or big hands with a lot of equity like he has. Tough board for Kevin, although his hand is very strong. Like Tony Shea, and the Whoever else is putting money into downtown, but there's like a lot of money going back into the city. And Kevin oh, gives right. up the top top. They have all those abandoned motels downtown. And uh, once again, uh, make yeah. sure you guys hit that subscribe button in the YouTube chat. <laughs> Kevin, live at the bike debut. He is currently up 15,000. Chris Brewer. C number three is up 14,000, almost 15,000. Dave, two of the guys on their high stakes on, live man. at the bike debut are crushing it. Kevin now? and Dave's also up 13,000. Kahan's up 7,000. Taylor's up 2,000. Maria's up 375. Uh, Andy and James uh, in the negative, but it's still an uh, hour left to get out the hole. Andy with two kings, and it's going to go multi-way, a set for James, who hasn't been getting much going, so James is probably going to put in a raise here. Actually, he flats. He's going to keep these ranges pretty wide. Diamond on the turn. Chris does pertain a diamond in his hand. Two hundred in the middle. And a bet of three thousand. And he with two kings. Wondering if James could just have a five here. Bricked out straight draw trying to steal it from him. $200 pot. Seat number four is Ken. You guys know Ken. He's action-packed guy. Although he did fold his kings to Garrett. 
Again, loves to have fun at the table. He loves to needle, show bluffs. Seat number six is Bruno. Might be seat number seven, actually. Old school live at the biker. He does give some action. I think Bruno is a tough player to play against because he is very aggressive. Seat number eight is seat eight, James, and seat number nine is the one and only Uncle Abe. Funny story, Uncle Abe called me this week. He was so excited. He called me a few times during quarantine to get live in the bike going. And he said, come on, JJ. I was like, hey, the bike is closed. How are we going to put on the show? So now that the bike is open, he was beyond happy. And he called me on, I believe it was Tuesday or Wednesday, and he was like, hey, JJ, uh, you need to start producing the games again. And I was like, why, Uncle Abe? And he was like, because this guy Wayne, he put me in here with a bunch of guys that I'm just going to kill too easy. Put me in here with a bunch of suckers. And he just starts busting up laughing, and I'm laughing too. So I was like, oh no, I don't want to go back to scheduling these games. But of course, Uncle Wave was just excited to play and to needle these guys a little bit. So welcome back, Uncle Wave. James with the four high flush draw. John with the board that he smashes usually. He can rep ace king, ace his kings. And he does have a backdoor nut flush draw to go along with his gut shot. And his middling pair. John does not like this check. card and he's going to check it on over to James. Although James shouldn't be peeling with too many jacks unless he has queen jack, which check. John blocks, or jack 10. River is an ace. Weird board. It would be pretty weird if John checked and James bets. Because it's a board that check. Johnson still should have a lot of strong hands that he might go for a check raise on. Oh, and James is going to go big with, with four high. James is going to bet 5,200 with four high like a boss. Man, what a tough spot for John Sin because it's unlikely James should have an ace here or and he wouldn't bet a jack full house like this. Johnson in a spot here. But you don't win the World Series main event by not being in spots and making the right decision oh, yeah. over and over and over. Let's see if Johnson can make this call. That would be pretty insane if he could. And look at Johnson go reaching for that time chip. What do you guys think of the chat? One call, two fold, one call, two fold. I think if I was in this spot, I would probably fold, but Johnson is a beast on another level. One call, two fold. Oh, you guys think he's going to call? Chat thinks he's going to call. Michael McGrand says one. Matty J says one. Johnson doing some DJing, which is calculations. Looks like, oh, he's going to put in the muff. Michael R., David Wilson, Air Eliminator, all sit two. Oh, nice blur. You got it. Did James show the bluff? <laughs> was doing some DJing and trying to put his hand in the muck. 
Oh, James did show. <laughs> he showed the yeah. bluff. <laughs>